How are you guys? Hassle for music. Hello, sweet Michelle. Hello, Jennifer. I love you. Broken justice. I love you. Hi, X amount of words. Irvin A. Let's see. Soul for music. Yeah. Hopefully the kids will let you watch. Usually I start my shows with them here, but I had to email her the link and I didn't want to leave you guys waiting so long. It wasn't. She, the link wasn't working for her through text. So. And last time I was live, I, I thought my memberships were live, but I didn't know that I had to um, launch that. Like they were ready and approved, but then you had to manually launch it. But I did do that. And after this, I have a little vlog. I'm going to start on my like for the members. I'm going to post little vlogs and more personal stuff. The one from today that I filmed has a little bit of um, true crime stuff in it. I was talking about the Summer Wells case and the interview that came out last night. <laughs> Hi, Gemini Vibes. Hi, Alyssa Davis. What are you guys up to this evening? I am so excited too, Betsy. She's covered a lot of the cases that we all talk about. And um, I can't wait to get her opinions on those, see if she has any updates. Hopefully, she'll have her cards. Oh, Irvin, yay! Thank you so much. <laughs> so exciting. I am at the beach. Um, we went swimming today and within like five minutes we were getting, my son has like one of those, we have a bunch of kayaks and stuff, but he has one of the kayaks that you stand on. And we were getting that, we were getting that and the other ones and he got stung in the eye by a bee. So. We had to come inside and kind of relax. I think I stumbled on Mystical Mermaid's channel when she was talking about Justin. She seems so genuine. Yes, she is so sweet and beautiful. And um, hey, Wolfie. Um, yeah, so I think that it'll be really fun. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I need to write something down. Let's see. I know, Joanna, and his poor little eye is swelled. It, it sucks. This is going to be really fun, though, you guys. Jim and I vibes. All oh, the beach. I'm jealous. I already have my summer vacay, and now I've been bummed ever since. Well, maybe you can go, like, camping or... Even if you go camping in the front yard, do something cool like that. Go to a river for a day or I don't know. Something to look forward to. Oh, soul for music. Yay. Thank you. Betsy says MM is amazing. Yes. Woofie. Um, there's there is her channel, you guys. Please go over there and show her some love. Um, I just can't wait for her to get on here. Hopefully. Um, if she's not able to join with the link in the email, maybe I can post it in the chat. Hey, Melissa, you could put a cold used tea bag on the bee sting. Ooh, okay. We put a, a little bit of ice on it, but it he wouldn't hold it on. You know how it is. It's hard to hold to keep that stuff on. It's so cold. I'm really excited. <clears throat> oh, you guys, Melissa tonight is doing a collab with Vanessa from Unmask. You have to go watch it. It'll be, I think, at nine. Um, hi, Katrina. So, yes, definitely go check it out. I'm going from here to there. Even if I'm doing other stuff, I'll be listening in my headphones. Come on, Miss Mermaid. One second, you guys. My grandpa used to put tobacco on bee stings. <laughs> huh, never heard of that. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let's see. Okay, I'm back. 
had to make sure. Baking soda mixed with water, I think, works on a bee's thing, too. Cool. Yes, Melissa, I'm excited, and I'm proud of you. Put tobacco on it. It helped me. Well, that must not be a uh, as rare as I thought. <clears throat> yeah, she does readings, Cheryl. She reads... Um, she does tarot and psychic stuff and she does, she, um, sales readings. Like you can buy them for like, they're pretty affordable. I think they're like $15 and you guys they're That's good. That's really good. Um, but then she also covers certain cases and she'll do readings on those cases and all that. And she kind of does updates. Um, and what another really cool thing about it is, when she does some cases, she won't look too deep into it. So she's not tainted by, you know, information that she's getting from all over. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. The tobacco. So many of you guys. Michelle, Woofy, Mark, and was it so? No, Gemini vibes. Yep. I thought it was Sulfur Music for a second. That's funny. Oh, thank you, X amount of words. Thank you so much. Um, I am really excited. Come on, mermaid. But today I'm going to, I'll just talk to you guys and kind of tell you what to look forward to. Hi, Francis. Um, so we're going to kind of, I'm just going to ask her a little bit about herself so we can get to know her some and, um, and that won't take too long, but I think it's important. I always like to do that because I want to know the reason I do these interviews with creators and well, for one, the whole reason, reason I'm on here is because I want to find like-minded people to discuss these cases with and stuff. But also it's so interesting, the psychology behind the people who choose to do this with their time or as a job or whatever. And then, you know, add in psychic and tarot to it. And that makes it like all even more fun. So, yeah. I don't like to get too personal um, with my questions. I don't want to make them uncomfortable, but I will say, you know, when you're covering crime, like for me, I don't want my very, like the very most personal parts of my life out there. Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, because, okay. So you're, we're covering crime. I covered a local case on TikTok. Um, it was before I was really into YouTube and I was um, making waves with it. I mean, they, people were talking and they knew I was covering it and there was lots of attention going to it. And, um, you know, two weeks later, all the lug nuts on my tire were loosened. And you guys, it's been since like at least my party days that I've even had an argument with somebody. So I know it has to be from that. Um so it's there's reasons, you know, when people are not divulging all their deepest, darkest secrets on here, it's not really because, you know, we want to be to lie or hide it or that we're ashamed of it. You know, that's not it. it some of it is just we want our personal lives to be personal, you know, and I don't know. so I just want to explain that. Where is Miss Mermaid? Let's see. I am so excited, you guys. Hi, Quinn. <clears throat> Let me see. I'm sorry. Let's see. Same as us subs. Yeah, like you guys aren't on here telling, I don't know, all of your stuff. We. <laughs> this is dangerous, you guys, especially if you get to covering local stuff and the people around you know that you're on it. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Anne-Marie. Hey, Angie. Um, it's really dangerous, you know, and we deserve woofy. Um, it's our right to keep some per some personal stuff per personal. Just know it's not because, you know, we're ashamed or we want to be, you know, sneaky. Sometimes it's just personal, you know. But speaking of personal, I am going to share like a closer look at my life and behind the scenes on that membership. That's something that I really want to do, like connect a little deeper with you guys. <clears throat> OK, one second, you guys.
<laughs> Saw the title and I'm a big titty mermaid. So I was like, huh? <laughs> Hi, Jen. Um, yes. Oh, she's here. Yay. Hello. Uh oh, are you muted? Sorry about that. Here, um, where I can see you because I'm so blind. Um, let me see if I can go back to my email and go here. Right here. If you don't care to add me in this again, okay? Okay. So I can see. But you don't have the camera and stuff won't be on. Okay. Am I, am I live right now? <laughs> Yes, we are live. We are live. I thought I thought you knew that. Yeah, because I went ahead to record. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Oh, yeah. Maybe you have to mute that one. Yeah. yeah I do. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Natasha, what we are doing? Oh, I'm not, one minute. Wait till it stops and then I'll let you know. Okay, it should stop. Has it stopped? I think so. Okay, did it? I think so. <laughs> it's okay. a little. Okay. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I run late. I was actually uploading. Can you hear me? That's Am okay. I, I noticed that in your thing. Is the third one, is that black one muted? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we're echoing. Do you have it open on your tablet? Here, I can just, one? here. Oh, wait a minute. It might be because of that. Well, I'll just exit it out. It's fine. But I won't be able, be able to see anybody's, like, chat. There's no way. I'm so blind. <laughs> I'll, I'll you. Okay, that sounds good. How are you? I am doing good. I'm doing really good. I'm excited for this. And um, a lot of people in chat are so excited. People love you. We love you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, is there several in here? Gosh, I look so bad. <laughs> no, you look beautiful. By the way, you always kill it. There's 60. Well, that's a lot. So, uh huh. I'm excited. I am too. Okay. Well, you, I'm a little you want, nervous. You I'm, not, I'm not even going to lie. I'm a little nervous. Like, or maybe don't a lot. Be, really. Don't be nervous. You are beautiful and you do a great job and you already have a ton of supporters in here. And yeah, just pretend that you're on your own channel. Look, Jackie says, You look beautiful, mermaid. We love you. Oh, and thank you, Jackie. Jackie. Lisa, Mystical Mermaid is the bestest. Yeah, everybody is very excited. Thank you for coming, says Joanna. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. Elle <laughs> Michelle says she is beautiful. You are beautiful. Your eyes, oh my gosh, they're oh. like gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, so for my viewers who are not familiar with your channel, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your channel and you don't have to get too personal or anything, but just like the basic or whatever okay. you want. Well, I am Mystical Mermaid. Most folks call me Eminem. Um, I have been a, I hate the word psychic. I really do. I, I don't like that. But I am, I have been a medium forever. Um, most people, I do live in the South. And so the Bible Belt, most folks around here would just be like, oh, that's that crazy lady. But um, <laughs> until they need me, of course. But um, I, I've always had visions and dreams and and very intuitive. And just if if I don't know something. Then I definitely I feel like I can figure it out or it comes to me in meditation and even prayer. It's revealed to me some things that I don't even would like. I don't want to know is revealed to me. Um, but it, 
it's um, my children. I have three children. Um, they're gifted as well. My oldest ones fight it though. They're they don't really oh, want to be known as you know the the crazy folk, but except my youngest, my youngest is all for it. Um, he's very much like me though, very much. Um, my daughter, she's she's finally she's seventeen and she's finally accepting it and opening it up, opening her gifts up, and so especially with this latest case with it being so close to home this is really making her be like wow i i see why you do this because she's getting invested and and oh, you wow. is that I, kiki I do what now is what? it kiki kiki you, someone wrote i love my mom and their name is kiki on here oh no that's okay. see i'm such a that's just everyone. I, I swear it doesn't even matter if they're older than myself. I, I'm so um, that's just the nature in me, I'm assuming. But I feel like I'm everybody's mom. Everybody calls me mom, mama mermaid or just mama or. But no, Haley is my daughter and uh, my actual daughter. But she uh, she should be in there. I'm not sure. Or maybe she's not. I don't I don't I don't think she <laughs> I don't feel her in here. But. Anyway, well, it's crazy because you have this like nurturing energy. And one second, Natasha, thank you so much. And I want to read to you. Melissa says, I can feel her energy from here and I love it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. I, I, I'm a Hayoki empath, which is that's a new fancy, more our generation term. My mama would just call it an extreme empath. And so I, I can be doing my own thing. And then as soon as someone comes near me and if they're PO'd or, or happy, sad, whatever, it's it's directly on me and it affects myself. So right now I'm, I'm wide open. My sensories are have been for a few months now and I can't go to the store. I can't even like now with lots of people I'm, my anxiety is starting to pick up because I don't mean to connect with folks. It's just, it happens as I've gotten older. It has gotten so much better to control that, but it, it's definitely um, the head wraps help a lot. The hats, I wear a lot of hats that helps a lot too. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Now yeah. I've heard about the pass. I'm I'm pretty empathic myself, not to that extent at all. But I definitely feel everybody's emotions, and it can exhaust me. And I was there's oh, yeah. a YouTube channel, Empaths Refuge or something, and they were talking about what you're that. What do you? What's the name of it again? Hayoki. 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 And I was watching videos about that. It's really really interesting. It really um, is. It really is. There's lots of different levels of empath. And I don't think folks really realize that. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many. There may be there's six that I know of, I think. But there's definitely different levels. But I didn't I, I didn't have that kind of guidance. I'm definitely that kind of person that I want to be that person that I didn't have that helps mm -hmm. me groom, you know, because it, it really bothers me that, um, that I, I don't want people to be so close minded and narrow minded that they shut it all out for us that are truly gifted. You know, it's, I know we get a bad rep, but there's, there's still, there's still truly some gifted folks. Oh, I believe that. And the problem is, that there's some people who well like in any situation you know we have the good and the bad and you have bad yeah. people taking advantage of situations to get rich or whatever yeah. and then you know maybe you go to a, a psychic and you pay her a hundred bucks and she's bs from then on you think oh whatever you know they're all like yeah. that which is not true there are some true, yes amazing spectacular um oh, yeah. people with gifts and it's awesome and you have a gift now, I will get into it when we get to that case, but you shocked me recently when you kind of predicted something and then it happened. And I was like, oh my God. like really, yeah. Um, okay. 
What, how old were you when you realized that you had that gift? Oh, before I could, I could, before I was even talking, I, I can, from like three, two and a half to three is exactly like my first time of, like, I'm seeing it now as I'm looking back, I, like, the, I knew then. So, wow. but my mama was, my great grandmother was, you know, but my family, they don't want to disappoint their reputation. So I, I'm not, you know, I, I am the the oddball and I, I, I'm not real close to my folks and family and all all that. But that's OK. I have my spiritual family and um, my family. They. Uh, well, my mama, even they and my great grandmother, um, they, they were all kind of locked up and honestly, because they were seen all, you know, and that's why I'm saying it's so nice and refreshing to see you or whoever, uh, even say Robbie, you know, he's very intuitive himself. And, and if my lights and stuff go off, I'm so sorry, but it's things that I can't help. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, you know, it's really refreshing to see folks be like, wow, you know, and welcoming it and at least giving us a chance, you know, and I, well, love I'm, I do, I love them. <laughs> I love you. I love your channel. I love, there's a few different, like, um, not really on YouTube. You're about the only one I watch now, except for that psychic reverend Donna Serafina who predicted. Did you see that? She kind of yeah. predicted how Kylie and JJ. Oh, my gosh, girl, you need to watch that. She predicted months before when Kylie and JJ Valo were still missing where they would be found and all that. And she was accurate. And at this time, people still thought they might be in a cave somewhere or, you know, right. in a religious commune. It was crazy. It's funny that you mentioned that case because I have a friend, Snarky. I was so bothered by that case. And this, I don't even think I'm, I don't know if I had a YouTube channel at this point or not. Um, but man, as soon as it happened, I, I, she came right to me, Kylie. I, and I'm telling you, it was, I, I told Snarky, I was like, Snarky, and she, Everything that I had said was so clear, so clear. And and normally I will let you know I'm I'm not always right, but I will definitely definitely let you know how clear. And when I'm saying it's clear as day, honey, then I'm you know I, I'm I don't know. Well, my my community will say hashtag resonate, but it I don't know I don't know really what I. I, I'm not sure who the lady is that you're speaking of, um, but I, I'm saying I'm trying to connect with her. I'm trying not to, but uh, and it's distracting me. So, anyways, well, go ahead, okay. Alex, because I'll get distracted and I want to go like somewhere else, and I'm trying to stay focused here. <laughs> Well, we will um, accommodate whatever we need to, so don't you worry. But Snarky is in here. They said. She, um, they said, I remember that combo. That was creepy. Mermaid, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> hey, Snarky, I love you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Okay. Um, do you watch a lot of YouTube? No. I try, especially when it comes to cases. I try not to because I like fresh eyes. I don't, and plus, it really, I guess it hurts my feelings, and I take it personal when when people are like, oh, she got this from so-and-so and so-and-so. So that is really why I like to kind of just stay in my lane. Now, if someone sends me a link, I will watch it for them so I can respond to them. And that's another thing that's really big. I try to respond to each and every person that comments. It's very personal for me. I, I don't know why. And I don't, I, I'm, I'm going to always try to, but I definitely... I'm just so appreciative, I guess. So I know what you really know what I try to, I like every comment and I try to respond to as many as I can. And speaking of that, Elizabeth said she came in late. Can you please reintroduce this wonderful guest? Um, <laughs> this is Mystical Mermaid Psychic and Tarot. She has a YouTube channel that is awesome. It's in the description and you definitely should check it out. Um, 
We have, I said that before you came though. I was like, <laughs> the really interesting thing is that she doesn't read up on all these cases. You know, she mm. likes to go without the information, which I have another question that kind of, you said something about. So I know that the, um, not like it's completely normal for psychics to be wrong sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. that is normal. What do you think the rate is of um, like 80% or what do you think? Of what? Of me or in and general? Long, <laughs> do I yeah, know? How how you, know? you, yeah. Um, snarky? Were you answer that? So I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> because, I mean, I just, oh God, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to throw it out there and I swear to y'all, I am not cocky. I am, I promise you, I'm not. I'm very humble, very appreciative, very thankful. But where I do before I run that mouth, I do. I before I say anything, I have to feel it, see it, taste it. So I'm going to say 95 percent. I'm right. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I love it, though. I think that is so awesome to see how passionate you are and how much you care. It's not just. That's for sure. Yeah, you can tell. And I love that so much. Oh, thank you, Angie. Lisa says, when she knows, she knows. Snarky. Mm -hmm. I'll just say this. If you think Mermaid is wrong or feel your rating doesn't resonate, it comes true at some point. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, okay, let's see what my next one is. What was the first case that you covered on your channel? Hmm. Well, I didn't do cases on the channel for a long time. Actually, just till recently, really. Um, I've always been pulled to crime. And Snarky's like my biggest cheerleader. She's my, I wouldn't even have this channel if it wasn't for her. And I would tell her about all these cases and she's like you should really start doing that and i'm like people don't want to hear me and she's like i actually I, I told her i said well you go be a detective and i'll just work for you because we would be like this awesome team <laughs> she's like you just need to go on youtube and do this but um so really i was just doing people and, and tarot i wasn't doing in crime just till recently the first crime I ever did, I was, it, this was actually really close to home. I don't know how old I was. I was younger than my, my youngest son. And we live in, an, and actually the area is the area, very close, what's Beach Creek area. It's close to summer. And I can remember, I knew exactly what had happened to this colored lady, I'm, I'm a black lady, um, I'm not racist at all. Is that an issue around that area? Absolutely. Um, that was actually what had happened to this lady. Couldn't tell you her name. I can see her face as clear as day, but I can remember telling my mom, hey, you know, I know, I know who done this. I know what they done. And I don't think they ever found her. And I, I don't even know her name right now, but um, that was really the first time I knew that, that that was just something that my heart was compelled to do. So, and like I said, wow. I was probably six, seven at that time. That was crazy. Six or seven years old and seeing that stuff. That had, was that scary? Not at all. Not at all. I've actually, I've never really had friends except the non-living from literally from three years old up, I've always had my little group, but no one could see them but me. And that was just the way, and that's oh still, still, it's the same way. I have more company in and out of my home than <laughs> Carter has liver, but they're all non-living. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my gosh, that is just so crazy. Um. I can't imagine what that would be like. 
Um, okay, so we'll get into some of the cases I've seen you do. Um, actually, one of the first ones, I believe, what brought me to, well, you commented on my channel, I think. And I went to your channel and you had an Orin and Orson West video, which just in case anyone's not familiar, I did grab their missing poster because I want to share that they are still missing right now. Um, and it's kind of like <laughs> becoming a cold case and it's unsettling. But what are your thoughts on these two little precious boys? What have you seen recently and what do you think will happen? What I am seeing, and I actually have not even posted an update, but I believe that was the first one that I did. Um, there's a there's an affair going on. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. I don't even know their names. Okay, the 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 foster parents don't even know their names. But what I'm seeing is this man is he he thinks he is one dong, okay? He thinks he is like the man, okay? Um, very in and out of this marriage. Well, finally the roles flip and she went outside the marriage. And I feel like right now she is outside the marriage. Um, anyways, I feel like something, some sort of fuss, some sort of fight went down. I feel like they definitely medicated the children probably with being a drill or something like that. And that's probably what happened or at least an example of what happened because whatever happened, it was, it wasn't purposely, not really. I mean, they wanted them to maybe hush or quiet while they could, you know, fuss and fight. And I, and I see them physically fighting and cussing and going on in front of not only the boys, but their children as well. But so it was just, it got out of control. Then they panicked and I can literally, he is, and this is the foster parent, the father, okay? He is the, the leader, okay? And she will obey him or she will get it slapped, okay? I, I mean, I literally see it. Um, mm -hmm. She, yeah, I feel like she's gonna break. She's going to come. She's going to open her mouth, but but she's still going to get punished. But she's going to open to lessen her sentence. That's what's going to happen, that, or that's what I feel. Okay, and of course they could anything could change to their energies, and they could decide not to. But um, those boys are very close together. They're they're not going to find these boys unless someone is really like dedicated to it. And, and I know there's a team dedicated. Okay. I'm seeing a, an older gentleman with gray hair. I have no idea who this is, but he wears glasses to read, but he, I feel like he'll probably be the one to, to find them. Um, they are, I have no idea what that river's called, or I guess it's a river. They're definitely in a river. They're they're off a cliff, like into a river. But I, they're not. I don't feel like that's where they were. I feel like that's where they. I feel like rocks stopped them. You see what I'm saying? And they're really together. Yeah. Um, there are two. Yeah, there are two boys, Orin and Orson West. Um, and they went missing. I believe December twenty first. It's um. I'd have to go back and look. I've got so much information in my head. And if I get something just even a little bit wrong, people love to let me know. But around right. that time. Yeah. Um, so they still haven't been found. And there's some weird can, there's some weird stuff with this story. Like the neighbor had surveillance. So the parents say, you know, they were in the backyard. We were out there. I was do building a fire. And um, they left. Well, the, this YouTuber goes to the neighbor's house and films his surveillance, and you can see clearly there were no kids that left that yard. You can see both ends of it. So um, that kind of like they were ever there. there. They, I, I don't feel like they were ever in wherever they're at. Whenever they're doing that um, that interview, they I, I don't see their energy anywhere. I see it around the vehicle. I'm not seeing it inside. OK. And the way when I look at even when I look at you, I see your aura, I see your energy. OK. I, I'm not seeing 
their energy up in that house at all. Well, there's a lot of people who say that. They yeah. say that they don't believe because they moved from Bakersfield, California to Cal City. And a lot of people claim that there is no, even the police have had questions. If they I ever like that was probably why they moved. I'm also going to say this. I feel like the reason why they did, um, I, I don't know how foster parenting works, but I can see like they they were they knew they were going to um, report it, obviously. But I feel like I, I don't know if it's during like right before Christmas or if they're going to wait till they go to school to when they have to. But I feel like they were going to kind of wait until like they were they were benefiting, you know, from that. And that's why they were waiting. Well, um, they don't I don't believe either one of them had jobs. I do know the dad sold hip hop beats. It's been a while because that case, I mean, nothing's happened for a while. So I don't oh. know um, exactly. I do want to ask you this question and then we'll go on to another little case. Um, or not a little case, another case. Melissa Jade says, what was the first experience you had while witnessing the dead? What was the first one? I'm sorry. Yeah, your first experience, which was at that woman, the um, the African-American um, woman? No, it was George. That's my, my, actually it's my bestie, my best friend. And I probably start crying too. It's okay. Anyways, um, I was probably three. I wasn't scared at all. And by then, my memo had done been passed. And so, you know, I, I just knew I could. I just knew. I, I don't know how I knew, but it's like everything that. I don't know. We would just, I, I, I would stay under the bed. I would stay in a closet. I would stay under the kitchen table even. I was never out with everyone else. I, and I have siblings. I'm actually the baby of four. Okay. So there was lots of folks around. We had a big family, but no one ever wanted to play with me. And, you know, and, and that's okay because I was weird, but it's, you know, to me, it's not weird. To me, it's just, I wouldn't know who I was without it, you know? But it, George was my very first one. Um, and I, I guess just the way he approaches me, and I, I can see it now. I just, I didn't honestly know any better that he wasn't, like, I was convinced that he was real that I hear, you know, like in physical form. OK, but mm -hmm. no one else was like, no, nope, we don't see George. Mm -mm, no. Nope. And I was like, no, no, Isabel, no Claudette. No, no, mm -mm, no. So, you know, and it, and it just he really got at me. He, he still does, still does to this day. And wow. what is so and it's just a different. And even after I'm gone. He's going to be here for my kids. So it means a lot, you know. That is so sweet. And is that like a spirit guide? Is that what you would yes. consider one of your guides? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, that is so interesting. I will ask about, well, I'll go ahead and ask about it now. I'm not sure if you've covered it, but you've probably heard of it. But I want to say hello to well, Soul Sister. I want to mention go real ahead. fast about the brothers. You guys, I know it's been pretty silent. It has. But I'm telling you right now, even as you like, as soon as you posted their picture and I, I was like, OK, I'm going to check. Let, let me really check on this. They're fixing to be found. It, it, it's it, they're fixed. They're fixed to be found. I feel like it's like within days. Really, I, I feel like it's around. I don't want to say, but I think I, I don't know if I. If, I did make a video. I don't know if it's public or not. I don't know if I <laughs> uploaded it. I upload so many, I forget. But it was revealing. I, I'm going to say around the third, okay, um, fourth. It's definitely, I feel, around the at least the first week of July, y'all. 
Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's, that, I mean, if that's you did, it, it, it could be a little bit later, but it's definitely, or if someone gives up, like I said, I'm seeing this older man, and God, I'm praying he keeps those glasses on, and he can see, and just, you know, you know I feel like he's, he's, he's using a plane, or not a plane, but what is that, a uh, drone, maybe? But yeah. I, I feel like he's going to find him, he's going to Oh, wow. Everyone says you just gave me chills. Um, hashtag resonates. So do you think they will? Uh, someone said found deceased and, and you do believe they will be found deceased, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, no, you're not crazy, Natasha. I think a lot of people uh, can't. And honestly, I've heard people say that anyone can actually like access their inner psychic, that part of them, if you work on it enough. Um, and stuff like that. Some people are born, you know, and those are probably much stronger, but the one who um, predicted the JJ Ballow, she wasn't, and her daughter was murdered, and she decided, I'm it's going spirit, to learn. Yeah. She went to spiritual school, and she is really good, so yeah. Um, have you, I didn't see this on your channel, but you, I'm sure you heard of Alexis Sharkey. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? It was an Instagrammer who was found nude in Houston, Texas. I believe it was Houston in Texas on the side of the road. And her husband's name was Tom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, and, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. You said she was a YouTuber. She wasn't a model. No, no. Right? I don't know. No, she was a model. She wasn't a YouTuber. I think she was Instagrammer. Like she did it. And she's like an Instagram uh, model. Go ahead. I'm just connecting here and saying, go ahead. Okay. And that, um, she was found and the cause of death was strangulation. The interesting thing is a friend of hers said that she claimed that Tom, her husband, strangled her and she woke up like it. she, she went unconscious and she woke up and, um, you know, she was okay that time. But then the cause of death was strangulation. Do you, do you, you know, what do you think about that? Do you connect with anything or? Um, I feel if he did, ooh, if he didn't, then he had someone do it because I feel like she was in love with someone else. And I feel like he found out. And you are. Bam, spot on, because the night before, she went out with a new guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Anna. Yes, hey, if you, um, pictures probably would help, and if you send them through Messenger, I can get them while we're live and put them up here. Wow, you are just so wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Pretty cool. Um, okay. Okay. So the next one I want to talk about, okay, we'll go here first. Um, I got pictures, too, of this, which I, you've made videos on this. Um, Suzanne Morphew and Barry Morphew. Let me get over here. <clears throat> Do you, what are your thoughts about what's going to happen here? I mean, we know he's in jail, but she has not been found. And that okay. is, you know, she won't. She won't. She's too scattered. He he completely. I don't know if he has access to see the way I'm seeing it is like a uh, like a hamburger grinder. OK, and my interpretations aren't always right. OK, so that's what I'm seeing. It, so it was definitely like something like that. And I feel I feel like what they've got. It's going to be some sort of surveillance of him going to different areas. I, I feel like that is what he's got. I also see a woman. I'm seeing a female that he run that jabber to. And she said something as well. So I feel like they've got that. I feel like uh, that they've got some kind of surveillance of him at different areas. Okay. Also some DNA somewhere. Um I feel like the, but the kids, they definitely, I, I feel like they know. Um, yeah, I feel like they know. But the thing is, and 
don't come at me, y'all. <laughs> I feel like, um, and I'm not saying the girls wanted this to happen to their mom. Of course they didn't. But she was in love with someone else. Younger. Younger. I feel like he seen something on some kind of social media, text, something, and he lost it, lost it. I actually, I'm seeing it so clear. Her head hitting some sort of rock, okay? She fell, okay? So listen, if they, whenever it comes out what they have, I feel like um, he's going to, if, I don't feel like he's going to be like, yeah, I'm guilty. I, I don't, because actually, I'm also seeing him over here being very cocky, very, he thinks money talks, okay? And actually, I'm, what's scary is I'm seeing how quick it is moving, and that, that's scary, y'all, okay? It's really scary. Um, If he, if he is. If or if he does say that he it happens, he's going to say that she fell and hit her head, which is the truth. Like I'm seeing it. OK, I'm seeing it. I feel like like she. But the thing is, I, I don't I don't feel like that killed her, uh, knocked her out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but the thing, what I was saying about the girls, the girls knew. I feel like the girls knew and it, they have daughters. Right. Yeah, two daughters. Um, I, I feel like they knew that mom had a boyfriend and was really upset. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, what is it like when you saw that picture? Did that like? How does that feel when you you know like when you're talking about it and you see it? Does that help? Does it um, help you connect? Oh anywhere? yeah. It, yeah, it does. It it definitely. I'm assuming it's the impact. I mean, I, I can't help to like, I'll start feeling what they felt. And it gets heavy. Hi, Dave. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, and I got a picture well, from my friend of Alexis Sharkey, the one that we were just talking about previously mm -hmm. that you didn't know about the influencer and stuff. This is her. And this is her with Tom, the husband who, like she said before, had already strangled her and unconscious. Um, so I just wanted to show you that just to see if you, you know, if anything changed or whatever. No, he did. And or, or well, no. If he didn't, he had no. He no. His he, no. His no. But see the. Mm. We'll give her a minute. Yeah, you mean that. It could have been someone he worked with. He definitely is connected. Definitely. I, I really yeah, yeah, would love to. Definitely. Him. Definitely. Um, do you know? Well, I guess I guess he was bald at that time, wasn't he? See, because the person that. The person that did this, I'm, I, he's he's brown headed, brown headed. So I, he he's got um, he's got hair, okay. But he's connected to work with that fella. Okay, um, not to skip around, but back to Suzanne. Irvin says Barry was tracked at multiple locations, so it wouldn't make sense that he scattered her. And then Soul Sister and a couple other people said that he had a wood chipper. A wood chipper? I don't really know. Well, I don't really I don't know, know what a wood chi a chipper is, but I'm assuming it chips wood. <laughs> um, so that would definitely. Um, how would the because see. I feel like uh, the bobcat. Does the wood chipper connect to the bobcat? How does this work, folks? <laughs> I, don't I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I feel like definitely, definitely the bobcat. I feel like the bobcat had DNA on it. That's what I feel. 
I feel like DNA or a hair or something. Something was on that. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. Um, thank you so much, Message D. And Joanna, you can uh, message me a picture on Facebook at Allie Erickson. And then um, Anna says, Allie, does she see Mrs. Morphew in a suitcase underwater? Suzanne? No. No. Okay, let's see. One second. I'm trying to get people are sending a couple, but we'll go ahead and move on to the Chris Watts case. Woo! Now, you have a couple of videos on that, um, but I will let you, you know, share whatever you think <laughs> you go for it. And then I'll ask come you. at me. No. <laughs> Oh, Nobody Lord. come at her, okay? Please don't, <laughs> because I, I promise, I my intent is pure, and I, I'm very, I'm the most transparent person you'll ever meet. I promise. I'll say, I'm not saying he don't deserve to be where he is because he does. But what I'm going to say. Is there's two more that needs to be right with it. I feel Nicole, and then there is uh, I don't I have no clue who this is, but it's someone tied to her. It's her friend that she was sleeping with. She was, she's been sleeping with this man for a long time, okay? But she didn't want to settle down with him. Um, yeah, um. Listen, I feel like uh, I feel like he took his life's life. He did, okay. But y'all, I do not feel What I can see really clear, really clear is I'm not, she's not spiritual. I'm not going to say she's spiritual because she's, I'm spiritual. What she believes in is completely opposite. Okay. She dabbles and she don't know what she's doing. None of them do. I, I'm telling you, I know it was, I, I think it was a rumor that they were into black magic and satanic. And to me, that's no rumor. That's exactly what I connect with. Um, when folks say, why don't he know? Why don't he, he can remember this. He can remember that. Uh, if you are under some sort of influence like this, you are, it's a, outer body ex experience like experience it's your conscience and subconscious and in a war really you know um mm. he cannot i feel eventually he will recall it all i do not feel that if someone was to ask him Ask him exactly right now what exactly happened. He won't know. And it's not that he's trying to change his story. He's trying to figure it out just like the rest of us. Mm. I mean, I'm saying that because I'm not. That makes so much sense. I'm that's like it. You know what I'm saying? I know people be like, oh, this is another chick that's in love. No, it's not that at all. At all. It's uh, no, it it's what it is. You know why? Um, Thank you, I, I see, what's sad is I see him as a damn good man, you know, a good husband, a good father, good son. But then it doesn't matter if you're the Pope, if you get mixed with someone or something that is going, you know, your faith has to be stronger than that your it has to be your foundation it has to had he, this could have never happened had he never met that mm. Mm. you think she'll get caught nicole ketzinger 
eventually. I feel like she, whatever bonding she had on him, she had, it's like a trance it, it, or a trance. It's like I'm seeing like some sort of bonding or something that she thinks that she is so, I don't, it's almost like a cult sort of. It's a uh, very protection and protective and very, I, I feel like, I feel like her whole family from like generations is part of this. And I'm seeing it as um, just like, sort of like I'm a Baptist, you know, and all my family was. It, it's whatever this is, this domination here. I, I, don't, I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it's not a lot. And I feel like she definitely was beginning to dabble into the darker side of that. I feel like, um, I feel like she, I feel like she knew Shanann. I feel like she went after him because of Shanann. I see her jealous of Shanann before she even met Chris. Okay. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing it so clear. Um, mm -hmm. It's so, I feel like she's, never gonna, she's never going to have that kind of life. And I, and she knows it because just of who she is, she's, um, she's not a, she's, she is the biggest narcissist I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of them. She's the biggest one I've ever seen ever. She really got him when he was vulnerable got you know and just made him manipulate like because he he did love Shanann he truly did but it was the sex games and the you know he she used exactly what she could to get him away from his family and, mm -hmm. and it worked What okay, a couple questions, and we can do if you want to do any tarot or anything. And there's a couple other cases, but um, I do want I do want to ask, do you think that she's at peace now, Shanann? And then, do you also think that Kessinger is able to rest and sleep at night? Is she is she wondering and watching everything, or is she? Um. Well, see, what's what's interesting is that I think is she does she is cocky she is really arrogant she's a nasty little twat in my eyes just by her attitude okay um it, it's like she is confident because it's like if she can't do this it's like her power team behind her that's why i'm saying she has to her family is involved like in whatever this community is because it's like, well, if I can't do it, I know they'll, they've got my back. You know, she's very cocky, very confident, but it, it's not, it's not going to, uh, I, I do not feel no regret or remorse. And um, I do feel, I do feel there was a scare. I don't know. Uh, two months ago, maybe there was a scare. Um, I don't know what happened. I've not kept up with that case actually because I've been so busy. But something happened, and I feel like uh, she may she may be uh, worried a little bit that he may be putting things together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Thank you so much. X amount of words. X amount of words says this is a great interview, and I agree. I am loving listening to you. It is just so interesting. Mm. Thank you so much. And you guys, she has at least two videos on the Watts case, and I know that my audience is like Watts crazy, so you got to go over there and check those out for sure. While you're pulling those, let me go grab a. <coughs> Let me go grab my charger. I want to make sure that this will last as long as I need it to. Dylan okay. says, going out on a limb here, what about her dad? Could he have been, do you, have you ever picked up anything on the dad? I just got chills up my back. I knew someone was going to ask 
I knew it, but I felt, I don't know, I, I felt someone else was going to with an accent. But, um, Dylan has a crazy accent. The person who just asked that. Okay, oh. I'm hearing the accent. I'm hearing it. <laughs> Dylan, you're <laughs> from San Antonio. And <laughs> oh, I have no accent. It's y'all that got that accent. <laughs> The heck of an accent. That is crazy. Okay, I'll be right back. You re you talk. Listen, she's she's not. She's feeling very cocky, very confident. Um, her dad is absolutely hundred percent. Always has friggin' been. Right here is a picture that is what fell out. If you can see, it's like you know they're a team, they're a duo. She knows that. Someone's got her back. Um, I feel like she's fixing to move, folks. I feel like I've got the world card here with the ace of... Hmm. Wait a minute. Maybe it's not a job. Oh, she knows it. No, what I'm Oh, her dad's moving. Okay, I bet. Yeah. Okay. Now I feel like I feel like they're moving, and and I get the emperor card, which is the father of the deck. Okay. Um, there's some sort of. Uh, I want you to look at this, folks, and what this says. This is the four of pentacles. Okay. What's that say? It says control. Okay. I'm telling you, they're fixing. They're fixing to move. I feel. Okay. I feel like they're going to relocate with this world card. Um, something. Some kind of information has been, I told you, a couple months ago, I could feel the panic under her breath. The, we have the two of swords, which is um, an, like indecision, indecisive, um, not sure, at a crossroads. Right here is the ace of swords. That's something coming to light. That is uh, clarity. That's something dark's been brought to light folks are fixing to be and it's she's not going to handle it well look at this card do you see how that woman's got that black eye right there something is it's it's going to hit her pretty hard something is being brought that's going to hit her pretty hard and, and she's she's either going on the run or she's going to relocate move something her and i feel like it's her and her father or perhaps maybe they're into it. Definitely. Maybe she's trying to break from, from his control, perhaps. Something's definitely going on in her little world. But no, she she doesn't even think about Shanann and them. Doesn't even think about them. <laughs> I cannot believe you heard Dylan accent. I, I put the um, StreamYard link in just now. If she could call in for just one minute and ask you that so you could hear it, you would be like floored because she has a very, very strong Southern accent. And that is just wild. That I chose. Oh, I just, oh wait a minute. Here she is. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Why don't you ask her your question with your voice about the dad? <laughs> I'm freaking out. That was like really crazy. No, I was just saying like you said the other males. So I was like, maybe it was her dad because people say Jim, but like, I don't know. Something in my, something in my intuition just said, what about her Jim. dad? Because yeah, he was really protecting of her, especially in the. Um, Jim was part of it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I said, yeah, but I don't know her dad's name. I forgot her dad's name. I don't know. I just, I, I could see him. I don't know him. But yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Which to her, you might not have as much of an accent, but to all of us, you have that Southern drawl, you know, which I kind of have it too, but. Yeah. <laughs> when she said Southern accent, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. Um, both of you guys are in Tennessee. Yeah. I'm in East Tennessee. And I thank you very, very much. Um, so, yeah, you guys are both pretty close to the summer case then. Have you been following it too, Dylan? Yeah, I've actually been following it pretty pretty closely. Um, I was going to actually bring that up in chat if she, since she was in Tennessee, if uh, she had any insight on that or 
I think she's following it pretty closely. What do you think about that, Miss Mermaid? Um, that was actually why I was late. I had just done recording a video um, that I'm going to upload. Uh, I, I could smell death before as soon as as soon as my mom had sent me a text that morning and yeah it was the next morning i guess i guess they had yeah because it was the evening i didn't know anything about it like i don't watch tv or anything like that um as soon as i can i had already smelled it i already knew she was done gone i feel like she was done gone before 911 had been called um i feel like everybody in that home everyone knows what happened to her everyone yes yes yeah mm. i feel and see i've been real hesitant real hesitant to mention the underage fella um i don't mention his name in this video i just recorded but i do mention an underage fella i, I feel like because in my last video i mentioned they're saying someone needs to be questioned again. Someone's going to break. Someone will say something. Question, question again. I keep hearing that. It's that one. It's that one. If he, whether he was part of it, whether he wasn't, he knows more. Do I feel like they had relations? A hundred percent clear. Yes. Um, I, I can just tell. Like again, as I see your colors, I, I can tell if someone had been intimate lately or not lately or with this one or that one. I, I just, I can't. And yeah, but what's crazy mm -hmm. is, and no judgment at all, no judgment, but it's like the heat. Just like the affair I'm seeing, okay? This the the person that I'm seeing, <laughs> and I feel like he's an Aries, Sag, or a Leo. I feel like uh, he's younger. Probably, he may be around mom's age, but when I say younger, I'm probably younger than grandma, okay? But the thing is, I see mamma and mom having relations with this person, okay? At, at some point, they have. Okay, right. So this family is, um, I don't know a word to describe that. You, they just kind of, there's no boundaries. No, I, do y'all know what I'm saying? There's, it's, yeah, they, they don't even, have, even have your know. family. Oh, you're my, you're my brother. Come on. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, really, it's, it's like that. I'm not joking. Um, very twisted. Uh, not mm -hmm. clicking all there. It's like that's the way they're not stopping it. You know, it's like that's the way this one was raised. So they're raising it to this way. They're raising it to that way. I'm not seeing it break anywhere, if that's making sense. So I feel mm -hmm. like Candace and her sister and someone else, I'm seeing someone else with them. I feel they were essayed by some, a father figure, which keeps going down the line. Um, so there was actually a social media post um, where the young guy that was with, now there's rumors, you can go to a channel called Crime Stories Obsessed and see all of this, but there is rumors that that kid is saying that she drowned and mom put her in a well and he saw it and now he's going to come forward and tell the truth now i don't know if that's fake or whatever and i'm not trying to you know you guys go to that channel check it out crime stories obsessed and apparently he had posted something and then removed it if if it wasn't my first video it was my second one and i was doing my thing 
and then I stop. Then all of a sudden, she whispers, well, right in my ear, plain, clear. And I stop in the video and I'm like, well, well, well's important. Is there a well near? Go watch it. Not kidding. Not kidding. Not kidding. Oh my God. That is crazy. Your first or second one you said? If it's not my first one, it was my second one. Mm. Dylan, thank you for coming up here. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. I was go I was about to drop off so you could finish up, but thank you for having Dylan, me. Dylan, can I can I talk to Dylan for a second? Oh, absolutely. Dylan, um, you don't have to say yay, nay, nothing. Okay. I just I need to tell you what I'm hearing, okay? Is that okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. There's someone close to you. Um, struggling with some sort of abuse, substance abuse, I feel. Um, I feel like you, I, I don't know where you're at, your, just your, your last rope here. Hang on, hang tight. You're going to be just fine. Everything's going to work itself out, okay? Oh, wow. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I guess love that could you, be a couple, a couple things going on, but I'm kind of shaking. So I, I, I feel like a what? I love you too. Are they, <clears throat> are they blue eyed? Water sign? <sighs> I'm thinking of two people and they're both blue eyed. <clears throat> this one's the lighter haired one, honey. Okay. Yeah. Just be supportive, show love, it'll be okay. Wow. It'll be okay. <sighs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I love you, baby girl. But I'll talk to you in a little while. I love you too. And that was really, um, I, I just want to say that's definitely something going on in my life right now. Um, so I appreciate that. It was, um, family member is going through some substance abuse, but yes, it's difficult. I, I feel like you're um, you, you you fight whether or not like you don't know if you need to just give up, love them from a distance, love them now. The, the thing is, if you stop, if you stop, and you don't show them that love, then it it will get worse. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, and then it'll get really scary worse. So just ride it out with them and just, you know, shine your light. It's your light that's important because it is, it is seen. Okay. It is seen. Promise. And your prayers are heard. Mm. You will make me cry, mermaid. Wow. That was so sweet. Wow. Um, thank you so much. Uh, You're welcome. I probably should be there more, <clears throat> more than I have been, but it's really hard. You're loving them from a distance. I can try, you know, try no, no. my best. But listen, but don't I, forget. I, I, listen, but that one text, that one text, just to show them you care is what they need, though. Okay, don't completely. Because I, I, that's it'll get scary, and I don't want to see. I'm trying to help you avoid that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I've been at a at a point where I don't know what to do. Um, you know, uh, because it's gotten kind of it's gotten rough, but um, it's bad. It is. It's bad. It's real bad. <sighs> wow, that's I've never had anybody. You know be able to connect with me like that so that's just it make I don't know it's it's the first time but that's it's very powerful and it's very true and I appreciate yeah. I appreciate it I mean it's very true point in my life um with uh, with a family member a really close family member having some pretty rough drug abuse and I don't know what to do you know but thank you I, I will try to be there more it's it's hard to be there because when I'm there I try to be there, but it, it, 
it's like they push you away more. So I'm, I've been struggling with what to do. So I think that that's definitely something that I will use going forward and be more mindful of it. And <sighs> they feel wow. judged. They just they feel judged. They don't feel they just feel like everyone looks down on them because of it. They truly do want help. OK, truly, they do. They know they they don't want to be that way. They, mm. they need they need to they need to start with. I don't know. Just they need. They need to love their self. They need to. And I know that's so generic. Everybody says you got to love yourself first. But truly, they don't at all because they have been like some like they've been hurt and they just have no self-worth and they feel so less than and so little. And everybody else is this or that. And, and they're not. And they're just trash. And that's how they see themselves. Wow. Ooh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm just processing all of it because it's all. I, yeah, I've kind of kept it private, but it's been it, it it needed to be talked about. I think because there's a reason why this happened. So I appreciate yeah. it very much. Because, yeah, I feel like if it uh, doesn't get addressed, then. I just I feel like your family probably can't handle too much more right now. Yes, exactly. And, right. So I, I feel like some love. We're very small, love. very small family. So yeah, you know. So take care of one another and, and just kind of be transparent, understanding. That's what they need. Okay, honey. Try to yeah, be I'm in their shoes, to understand it, and rather than harp at them. They, because if not, then your family's only going to get smaller, sweetheart. Okay? Okay. I've, I've, I'm just processing all of it. It's crazy, but um, I really needed to hear that, and I appreciate you stopping me before I went out, because I, that definitely is, it's, you know, brought it to more attention to me, right? you know, in the moment. Well, thank you for listening to me. No, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I'll let y'all finish. I'm going to drop out. All right. I love you, Dylan. If you need anything, call me. All right. I love you, too. It was right. nice, to meet you. nice Nice, nice right. meet you. <laughs> Oh, Lord. She's wonderful. Okay. I have, thank you so much, Sam. There are a couple people, let me see, that have some very um, serious questions that are really, I do want to ask you. That'd be Joanna, Sam, Jennifer, and Whoopi. But before we go to that, and I'm not going to forget you guys, I've got it written down. I'll finish these couple questions for it and then get into you the couple things you guys want to ask. And I've got it written down. Thank you, Sam, so much. I, I have your put in the chat. Do you want me to read the Facebook message or paraphrase what's happening? And I'll do that. And then um, Joanna, um, I remember with her, Wolfie, and okay. So let's see. Summer Wells. That's crazy that you heard that in your ear. That is really, um, I don't know. That freaks me out. I'd like for you to watch that video I was talking about. Um, Send me the link whenever you Sam, get Sam, I will. <laughs> Thank you for doing that for doing so much. You are a beautiful soul. You are wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Um, and you guys, if you want readings, she, she, um, sells them on her channel for a low price. So please. Okay, Sam, I'll do that. Please, please, please. Um, I appreciate the super chats and I love you guys so much, but if you're doing that, wanting a reading, please wait and just go to her channel. That way she gets all of it. Cause it takes a long time for us to get the money and stuff. And I really want you to get, um, you know, get that. So which no one had it directly said like here on this, but you know what I mean? Just in case I want people to go to your channel. So the other two other cases, do you follow the Lori Valley case? Yeah. With okay. Chad and her. 
right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple questions about that. Can you actually see what, like, do you see who was responsible for the actual crime? Mm -hmm. Can you talk? Can you tell us about that, son? Mm -hmm. I struggled with this one because, and this is why I didn't make a video because this is exactly why people lose faith and trust in me because of people like Chad. I can clearly see him manipulate and be a false whatever. I, I can literally see him trying to like mock someone with gifts. Okay. Um, he really brainwashed this woman. She was actually a decent person. Um, she was a little man hungry, but you know, she was still a good mom at least, you know, um, it was he that came in, brainwashed her about the whole um, zombies and things like that. Um, then it moved from her down the line to the brother and things like that. Um, all the deaths are connected, completely connected. Um, I can see, I, I don't know I, if this is, it's some, it looks like medicine in the way I'm seeing it, that he's given his wife. Okay. I don't know how she died um, or in her sleep, I guess. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it was, it, so uh, the way I'm seeing it, it's like medicine, but what was in the cup? Was it rat poison? What? I mean, I don't know. Okay. I would have to really, focus in and I'm not the what is clear is that it was by the hands of him that she's non-living okay um now when it comes to the rest of them everyone was with the kids everyone I have, I told you that she had came to me and mm -hmm. normally when the non-living come, they're not pissed. They're not, I mean, it doesn't matter what happened, you know, it's, they're, they're, they're not pissed. This girl was pissed. I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. She was pissed at, at her mother. Um, she will truly roll over in her grave if there's not justice. Um, I feel like she tried. Well, I even see that she tried to be there for her mom, even took up for her, really thought it was just a phase mom was going through. I can see it so clearly. She wanted her mom back. She was afraid to leave her brother, though. They all took them, and I feel like um, I knew that they were going to be close together, and I knew that one of them was done the way they did done. But it's like she was chanting like the Lord's prayer or something as they were really doing this. Um, they gave the boy something to sedate him at first. Okay. Um, until they got to where they were going, but she was the mouth really the two men, her brother and that, Chad Bella, I can literally see with the tools and 
the things that they needed to do to mm -hmm. cut the in yeah and, and it was like literally you would have thought he was a butcher and wrapped it up like a effing deer or something i'm not joking and it's like um, she was so effed in the head that she was literally chanting like the lord's prayer over her child and and her brother started crying and i can see him weeping and saying i don't want to do this i don't want to do this sis and then she would she got so mad so it truly was her that was the ringleader but chad had like really messed her in the head really truly had her so brainwashed and had no clue what was up and what was down but she they both completely deserved actually prison is too good for them that is crazy that you say that because there's a few things that um well i know that this uh the psychic who had predicted all of that said the exact same thing tally came to me and she is pissed she wants you to know what happened to her she wants us to talk about it she wants justice then she said that you know they were it was almost like they were going to eat her eat tally you know eat a part of her leg or something like they were like butcher you know similar to what you're saying very similar and I knew it. I knew it because I knew that in my heart, I believe that Lori truly believed her kids were zombies. I believe that she yeah. believed that she, what she was she doing was saving them. She, when they say that she is not competent, she's not, y'all. She's not. She is effing crazy. Like, batshit crazy. Okay? Seriously. It's but she still, she needs, I, I don't, it's, she needs to be locked in a mental hospital for the rest of her life then, and, or worse. They're going to blame okay. it on the brother, though. They're going to blame it on the brother. I knew it. Yeah. I so knew that, because it just makes well, sense. Well, she'll they turn, her. but she'll, she will, she'll, she'll. Or, or Chad's going to turn on her, though, if he has to. He's going to. I feel that he's already doing it, like, behind her back, okay? But he he's going to blame. I, I feel like, ultimately, they're going to, yeah, they're going to blame that brother. They are. Even Chad's lawyer, certain things he said in court seemed like he could turn on Lori. When he was questioning Lori's friend, he said, he was asking Lori's friends certain questions that just made it seem, if you go back and watch and, and, and think about it, like he's setting it up for the future that if he needs to, that Lori's the fall guy. But let me ask you, do you think that Alex was murdered, the brother? Because he passed the day after Tammy was exhumed. Um, yeah, I was by Chad. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Their blood okay. is all over his hands. All over. Those poor babies. Um, okay. So the other case I wanted to ask you about was Justin Evans. Now, this is the one that I told you. You blew my mind. Now, we all know I have interviewed Kiara. I personally really like her. She's very nice. I think that, I don't know, just, I'm saying just my personal interactions with her have been good. And, um, you know, I don't know. It, anyways, so you said a few days before he was found on your channel, you said, you guys, just kind of like what you did with the Orin and Orson, you said, he is going to be found soon. Watch and see. And he will be in water or near water. And well, then a couple days later. Yeah, oh, I, I, I seen that it was like one day and I didn't. I wasn't ballsy enough to be like, it's going to be tomorrow or the next day. Um, but and, and I seen that half of him was in water and half of him was. not And it was just like, I, I, but I didn't know that. Like I, I said, it. I, I, I don't remember how I said it, but then someone had 
when they filmed it, they had said it was a swamp. And I was like, yeah, that was, I mean, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't know how to say that. Um, yeah. But I didn't even know about Justin until I came to you. I didn't even know about you. I, I don't know. Well, I do know, but I was just kind of scrolling and I don't ever, hardly ever pay attention to who's on, especially now I'm way too busy, but I guess where I'm into the crime, it, you, you know, the crime folks pop up and George was like, nope, you got to click. And I was like, oh, I don't feel like I didn't even want to. I was tired. OK, and <laughs> I, I wasn't going to be able to sleep until I clicked. OK, and I did. And I was sitting there. I was watching. But then the next thing I know, this young male in spirit was right here. And, I'm, you know, communicating, excuse me. And then and he's like, <clears throat> You know, like, this is me. Hello. So <laughs> that's exactly how this happened. And I was like, what do I say? What, what, do, you, what do I say? You know, and I'm sitting here in conversation and I'm <laughs> I'm freaking out because everybody else, my heart's beating like this. Then everybody starts fighting. I'm like, oh, God, I cannot even bring all this up in here or while wow, this is going on. You know, there's so then I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a that firm video. And that's what it did. So. Yeah, that was, was awesome, he, and that's crazy. Oh my god, he would around. not leave me alone. This, me and him, would have been such good friends. He, he would literally. I, I, I did not sleep. I kid you not. I did not sleep for almost a week because I, every time, even if I did lay down, it was his voice in my ear or someone else's voice in my I mean there's just nothing even if I close my eyes no I started seeing things I, I there he just wasn't until his body was found and then finally I started resting again but it, it it's not as bad now but I do know there's going to be justice there will be what do you think about Bud's dad, that arrest? I mean, that's confusing. If they're saying it's a suicide and then they've arrested someone for obstruction, that is very confusing to me. Yeah, it's not suicide. So clear to me. It, it, the other one wasn't suicide. The, the Or I hate saying that word. I'm sorry. Self-harm. Um, neither one of those fellas was self-harm. Neither one. Neither one. Yeah. The neighbor Lucas, right? The oh wow, huh? Yeah, okay, that's very interesting. Okay, so, um, thank you, Janessa, so much. Now, there are some viewers who have some like things that I think are just special questions and important that I do want to ask you. So, um, one of oh, and okay, so one of my ma, well, first, let me start here. Someone that I know, this is a different, not the mod, um. Their nephew passed away a year ago tomorrow. He was four. Um, he got into a pool, and I, I don't want to get anything wrong, but I do know that he passed from drowning. And um, she was curious how he even got into the area where he drowned. Did he, you know, how did he get in there? I think the gates. Well, I'm, I'm seeing pulling. Was this. Are they blonde or like sandy haired? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know if they're blonde. Uh, can you message me? It. Hold on. She's messaging me right now. You want to? Do you want me to share this sure picture? To the, I just want to make sure I'm connected to the right one. Okay. Yes, they are. I'm looking at a picture. They are blonde, pretty like sandy blonde headed. They pushed something. Their toes barely on it. Show, I, I'm not, I don't know. Show me. Hold on. Let me see if I can share this photo if they mind. Do you mind if I share the photo? Can you message me real fast? Oh, my gosh. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and upload it just in case she says yes. Um. Yeah, they're pushing. I feel like it's a... Uh... Okay, here he is. It's a toy right. of some sort. Oh, it's some sort of toy. And it, I mean, it barely, 
Uh, I'm seeing a toe on top. And, and the thing <laughs> is, yeah, I see. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's, yeah. Listen, there was a toy. If you, wherever this is, there was a toy, honey. And they had played with it. Up on the toy. But then whenever he went, the toy pushed and rolled. So you didn't think it was near him. But he got on a toy. It was obviously an accident. It was just curious. Just curious. So okay, thank you. So I feel like it's, some, it's definitely you. something with wheels, like a like a truck or a little car like and it wasn't like a little bitty one okay i feel like this is either like a push or like a ride on or something like with your butt and maybe walk with it something like that mm. thank you for that okay so uh one of my mods is this was a young man it's a case that she's kind of covering um this young man went missing he was a friend of her son's she does believe he was in an abusive home but it was like 10 years he was missing they did finally find a part of his skull his parents were you know there may have been some neglect and stuff his name was thomas what was his last name i can't read it um his name was thomas and that's him right there and um can you could you connect it? Will you put that back up there? Mm hmm There you go. That on the right is the um like the police were by using the skull, they were trying to make a mold of what he may look like. Tillery, Thomas Tillery. Okay. Um, it was Thomas's father. Mm. The mother was also abused. The mother, I feel, I, does Thomas have siblings? Um, does he have siblings, Cheryl? You can put in it in spirit, chat. I, I see in spirit he does. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Um he hates that picture of him. Oh, on the right the yeah, he hates it. He hates it. it was the first thing he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um I'm waiting on her to message in. That was a very sad story. She said that, you know, the parents didn't even seem like they were mm -hmm. no. They came um, there is is one of the parents i feel like it's someone if not the dad is somebody in the dad's family who, who's who got the reddish hair not that lived with him no siblings that lived with him but you did say in spirit so yes different. will anybody ever get arrested for this No, I don't mm. feel like they will because I feel like mom has no. red hair. I knew it. Okay. Um, I've got it. Um, oh I feel like when one passes, then the truth will come out when, when one passes. Mm. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay, then I know my my mod Jennifer just wanted me to see if you know anything 
um, connected with her, but I did get a message from a, fa a Facebook message from someone in chat, and I want to kind of paraphrase this. And um, so, let's see. There is a, you know, she has two adopted twin boys and two adult children. Someone made a false CPS report on them, and CPS showed up unannounced, and the report was so unfounded that CPS didn't come back for the other two mandatory visits. It was dropped immediately. Um, do you, can you feel, do you, she says that this has haunted her daily. It gives her PTSD. And can you, did, she's wanting to know who did it. Like if you can even connect with who, you know, anything that could help her. The next. An an ex. Ex. I feel like it's an ex. It's a, it's definitely a male. It's de, it's it could be. Mm. Mm. Um, Vanessa. This is someone. Okay. With, yeah, yeah. Listen. Uh, they they've also got. I feel like they've got a small tattoo at least right here. Um, short. Well, wide, wide nose. I don't know why I'm seeing their nose so wide. But they're, it's like their nose is like pug or almost. I don't know. But they're they're short. They're kind of short for a man. Um, I feel like like a football player. Like they're kind of, I don't know, you know, broad. Um, oh, or was it? Is she married, though? Was she married at this time? I don't know. I guess that's the way it could have been. Who was he? Let me see. Who was he pissed? Who was he pissed? It was to get back at somebody. Um, see, he's saying, Yeah, I'm saying he's took something from somebody. It, whoever had whoever did this also has three kids themselves. A statue in the back. Yeah. Um, is it? Oh, a man. Um, it is a man and a woman. The woman. She's got, the, the, woman, the woman's hair is colored. The woman's hair is colored. But see, mm, not so much now. Uh, she kind of has like COVID hair now because I feel like it needs to be done. That's terrible. I know, but <laughs> I'm happy. But like, <laughs> um, like, oh god, I feel like she's kind of frosty and and even. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely see it's a man and a woman. They're younger. Um, I feel like they're jealous. I feel like this dude thinks that her dude took something of his. And it's like, bro, why are you mad? Or something like this. Definitely. Uh, I don't feel like it's family. Tell her. Mm. I, I hear, is she asking me if it's family? I don't know. She's in chat. <laughs> Um, Janessa, she is, there are questions from chat, but what I'm kind of doing is there's one more that's, um, about a crime. And then if you guys have personal questions, I would really, really love if you could go to her channel, maybe when's the next live you're doing? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. It depends. On it. Yeah. And that way you can, um, get your questions that way because or I really want to email me or I'm on Instagram. They're more than welcome and I can, uh, schedule them or something They or whatever. Um, after all my videos, all that, um, information is in my description. Well, um, you know, if Janessa, if you have a question about a case or something or something like important, then I would I'll we can ask her quickly, but I don't wanna take away like I want her to I want this to help your business, you know what I mean? I don't know wanna take your so that's kind of Well thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on. This has been like really fun. I'm loving really? it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was so worried about it. I was like, oh, gosh, I'm afraid they're all going to stone me. <laughs> oh, you should have known. You should have known it would go well. <laughs> Can you see about your own future? Ooh, you just gave me chills up my back. Um, I can, but I won't. If God wants me to see it, he'll bring it to me. 
in my dreams. I don't, I'm afraid to see. So I don't. Mm, I mean, I know, I know a few things. Um, like, of course, and like if I know mom's going to be in a wreck or, or, you know, I try to help avoid things like that but like um i but the thing is when i open that is when i open it all and i don't want to yeah you get me I'll, I'll be the same way i wouldn't like that either um okay so a viewer named joanna her aunt was murdered and she was wondering if you think that there will ever be justice for that and um if you suspect who may have done it and her the viewer's name is joanna m word right there joanna what what's that say m yeah, yeah. joanna m mm -hmm. you're welcome sam joanna says she's going to set up a reading with you after too and she appreciates us looking into the uh you looking into the questions than me. Thank you, Joanna. We appreciate you. Did did Joanna? This is her mother, right? Her aunt. Her aunt. Um. Does she have Indian in her? Hmm, let's see what she says. Oh, and Sam, the one with the CPS, she said the CPS worker said it was a woman who sounded angry and the call was anonymous. And she said, thank you so much. She told me actually earlier she was a um, viewer of yours already and she really loves you. So, No, no she there's no Indian in the family. No, they don't have Indian. In OK, so they have workers then. I'm seeing I'm as soon as I connect to her, I'm seeing an a tan woman. I'm seeing in it, I swanny she looks like an Indian to me. I could be wrong. Um and I'm seeing money given. Um so I definitely feel I don't know, there's there's something um I feel like it's it's yeah, money's definitely involved. Most definitely involved. The suspects were her boyfriend and a mob hitman. Do what now? She said the suspects were her boyfriend and a mob hitman. Is it the mob? Are they connected, the mom and the boyfriend? I don't know if they're connected. The suspects were, were uh, there were two suspects, a boyfriend and then a mom, a mom hitman. And I don't know if they were connected or what. Okay. Uh, uh, does she happen to know their sign? Like I'm seeing a fire sign and I'm seeing a water sign. Which one was she which? She said money would, money would make sense. Um, yeah, money was, money was the reason money was the reason they they were taking they were taking yeah they were taking or not giving enough or something uh, someone was definitely working for someone okay um and, and and then starting to steal it or something um a lot of secrets here a lot of secrets um and is and is still like shameful of something does she understand that this does that make mm -hmm. sense like i'm feeling got a little way for something she said she's going to get in touch with you through email and so um awesome okay, okay. Awesome. and then I have two more questions. One of my mods named Jennifer, who is just the most amazing, sweet person ever. When all that drama and stuff was happening, she called me and FaceTimed me and just like very kind and helpful. What do you do? You see any messages for her? Anything I can tell her that would 
Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. I tried to be helpful, or I tried to be uh, helpful, but I know I felt your energy, girlfriend. You're like, who is this woman, and what the f is she saying? I know. I tried. <laughs> I was like trying, but I was trying to, you know, beat around the bush and. Oh, no, no, no. I never felt that way towards you. I know you reached out to me and I appreciated that so much. I love you. I, I was trying I adore to you. warn you. I seen it. I wanted to tell you it all, but it is what it is. That is, I forgot you did say that in your email. Like you saw it coming. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, thank you. What do uh, you see? Uh, oh, well, I'll let you finish that and then we'll get out. Okay. She needs to get out of that. Uh, this, uh, whatever mood this is, this depression, maybe. If she's a little depressed or something, um, you may be at the tail end of it or just getting through it. OK, um, because I'm, I'm seeing a cloud lifting. OK. Um, you have worked really hard. You're a hard worker. You're very ambitious, rather. Um, are you fixing to go on vacation? She said, holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> That's her first thing. <laughs> she said, oh, wait, that was her. You also need <laughs> sleep. I've heard that twice. So I am going to repeat that. You need sleep. You're exhausted. You're mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. Um. Not going on vacation. I feel like you're doing something. You're it, maybe it's not a vacation, but you're 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 getting away. You're maybe it's just a long drive. I, I'm seeing you. Oh yeah, is it? You are. I see fireworks. It's probably on the fourth. Um. Yeah, you will. You're, you're definitely having dinner. Um, and you're going to severe do what now? Severe depression and very sleep deprived. All right. Mm. If you're asked to go out around the fourth, even I feel like you will be with two other people. Okay. Um, Something's going to bless your heart. You need to definitely don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this because you need this. Something, something's going to bless you and you're going to need it. And it's just going to be something that really tugs your heart. And I'm seeing you really work on your faith because I feel like it's a little low. And it used to not always be, but it's a little low. But I see that you're going to be working on that and things are going to start getting better. And you're going to find that inner peace that you've been searching for for a while now. You're struggling with that. Um, if you don't start getting rest, it's going to affect your health. So make sure you get some rest. That's very important. And I heard it twice. So it's definitely important. Okay. Find balance. I feel like someone stabbed you in the back. Someone really hurt you. And that I feel like that's what made your faith kind of. Maybe it's just faith in men or faith in people, faith in whoever. But. I, I feel like it's it's affected your relationship with God. I feel like it's affected your relationship with people in general. So not everybody's out to get you, sweetie. We're, 
there's still some good. Um, but it's natural to probably want to question intentions. Um, get some rest. Pray more. It'll all be okay. Oh, and don't forget, go out on the fourth if you're asked. Oh, she said, you are such a special person. I am literally crying. Thank you so much. Oh, I knew God. she was. I almost started crying. I knew she was. You are so wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Um, I have a question. So when you see people's auras, what does that look like? Well, sometimes it's the most beautiful thing ever. I mean, really, it's um, it's it's uh, it just it depends on the person, I guess. Some people are not so pretty, and some are damn scary. Honestly, that's how I know if I need to be around them or not. You know, um, I'm very drawn like to yours before I even before I heard you say a word, and that's how I knew I needed to go to you. Because I was like, like, God was already tugging my energy and pulling me to you. And I was like, no. And, and yeah, so I knew, I knew at some point you were going to need me and I was going to need you. And that's just the way it works. And mm, that is I, I, I see um, lots of uh, just different. It's a, a lot of like I could tell when someone's going to be very. Uh, spiritual because of the lights the like the brighter lights i can see if someone's depressed because i'll see this like purplish blue color and i'll see if you know it's just different i don't know if anybody i don't know how everybody else sees it i that's how i see it um so is it so like fuzzy, fuzzy around the head or everywhere like even your ooey ooey like literally like when when i say i could be like mm -hmm, i know what you've been doing last night oh i can't <laughs> so, well i ain't been doing nothing for a long time <laughs> snarky would get so mad at me <laughs> i used to god almighty she would be so mad <laughs> Um, but also, like when people do the mediumship, like for instance, um, if someone's papa is passed on and coming forth, then I'll see my papa. Um, it, it's so it's definitely things that relate to me. Um, The more focused I am and the very rarely do I not actual see the people. Very rarely. It just depends. That's how I know when the reading won't be quite as clear because usually that's when people are not telling me something, not being truthful about something. And I just kind of go with it because I don't want to call people out. And like, if yeah. somebody wants to keep something private, I'm going to respect that. But, yeah. you know, I can usually tell, but it's, uh, it, it, it is harder when I don't actually see that like person face real clear, but if I don't, then they use my people. So it's, it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. Okay. Do you see any, like, if you, if you're talking to somebody, can you see their, like, for me personally, I've had a lot of death around me. I mean, growing up, I lost several best friends before I was even out of high school. And then being an addict, a lot of the people I knew, you know, were passing constantly. Do you see, do you see anybody, like, how does that work? Like with me or with anybody? How do you? Is there anybody around me? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me. 
six, six of them. All of them are male, but one. Okay. Um, um, I feel they did all know each other. Unless they're just all connected to ball because they're definitely playing ball. Um, the older gentleman is kind of like, I don't know. I don't feel like he was your father, but definitely a father figure to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I feel his hair may be a little grayish. Um. That one is around your kids all the time. Your kids talk to this person a lot, a lot. I was going to tell you that before, but I didn't want to scare you. But they oh like I can see them literally playing. <laughs> um, I, I feel like, you know how you said that you feel like you're an empath? There's definitely... Like, I can see you thinking that it's the kids doing certain things. And it's not. And it's him saying, hey, hello, are you going to talk to me? Communicate with me. Hello. And you're just like, damn kids. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, you're, and you go home. <laughs> but no, it wasn't. It was him. Um. There is some messages. I, I'd rather, I'll, I'll tell you when we get off here, um, they're harder to hear, I think. And, uh, I'm good. yeah, I, I'd just rather wait for those. Um, okay. Oh, they just, yeah, they just, I mean, it's nothing bad. And I don't, and I don't have no clue who you are. They're okay. No, wait a minute. There's an older lady here comes with like curls. Okay. Like, okay. she's, and she's really loud. She's really short. Um, she's really loud. And she's like, wait, wait, like really she's <laughs> obnoxious a little bit, maybe just a little loud. She thinks she's a boss kind of energy. Okay. And she, <laughs> I'm telling her we're connecting later, but there's, there's a woman coming. Like, I feel like she was, off doing her own thing and then <laughs> she thinks oh, no. I, I wasn't gonna like see whenever we have to be accepting to this okay um if some people are like well nobody ever visits me or i mean because my oldest brother is kind of like that and i'm like well have you told them you that you welcome because what you had mentioned earlier is right. We're all born intuitive, all of us. It's up to us to keep that alive. It's up to our parents to keep it alive in us. Keep that imagination going. Keep that window open. That is the key. That just have an open mind, open heart. That's how we do it, folks. Um, not double guess. Like you need to have that because God is great, and He it, it's I'm nothing. It's Him that does this. Um, I, man, I feel like I, I'll talk to you later. But for oh. all, the rest, because that woman will not leave me alone. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Well, you know what? <laughs> My father passed away a couple of years ago, and we were very close family. He lived next door. He what? I mean, he was there every day. They kept me when my parents worked. He walked down. He was at my house my entire childhood at 6 a.m. Christmas morning, so he could watch me open my presents every Christmas. And who was but that? He played my grandfather, and he played football. You said they were playing ball. He was a college football player and a football coach after. Coach. And he okay, wait, as did you say coach? He just said coach in my ear. Did you say coach? They said coach. 
<laughs> that's what everyone calls him. That's what coach. he's doing in heaven. He's, he's coaching. Him. He's coaching. Yeah. Like I feel like you're all your friends that have that had that's and there's especially like he's like, I told you I always like this one. And then here's this lady. I don't know. She's maybe I, I don't know how she's connected, but but there's one specific friend that he I, I feel like maybe lot you more than a friend and everybody tried to tell you and you're like no I don't or yeah I did and so anyway so that's what he's over here telling me about now but anyway oh my god <laughs> um Carrie and what in the H E double fucking fix did I just stumble upon <laughs> John is crazy you said coach because listen my entire town knows him as coach he was a coach at the high school the local high school and everyone I'll see people out and they'll be like you know hurt you know something whatever about coach everyone calls him that that is just wow mind-blowing wow <laughs> Mm. My very best friend, she passed away uh, a couple years ago. I told you about her. Her name is Jennifer. She was so depressed when she passed. I mean, horribly addicted, lost her kids. I would, I, I told this story once, but I found her like she had was in withdrawal so bad. She had had a seizure, vomited on herself, peed on herself. I had to get her in the shower. I took her to the hospital. A couple weeks later, she actually passed from withdrawal. She had a, her heart stop. Do you connect with her at all? She's a little Asian, half Filipino girl, beautiful girl. But I just wonder if she's okay, you know, because she was so, so. Um, she's with another male. Um, showing me, um, like I get, like you said, I feel like she was being attacked. Um, I feel like she actually, um, she was ready. She was ready to go. She didn't like, she just, she knew she couldn't live any longer being attacked like that. She couldn't. I, I actually feel like, um, I'm not sure what this is. But the way I'm seeing it, it's Windex, Clorox, toilet cleaner, something. And she had drank it. She just, she couldn't, like, it was too heavy. It's just, she couldn't. Like, she had no one. No one. She felt everyone either judged her or fed against her um she felt like even in like i feel like even in her like inside her head like i'm seeing a lot going on like i feel like she was in like physical conflict but a mental conflict as well um she couldn't handle it no more she didn't like she was for someone to do this you know i'm Y'all may come at me. I know people think that if you take your life and all that, that you're going to open your eyes in hell. That's not how it works. For a person to take their own life or do something like this, it's not right here. Something's not right. Okay. Something's not fitting. So it's not, you're not going to, you're not going to, okay. If that's not how it works. God's not like that. Okay. So whoever thinks that you're wrong, sorry. But anyway, um, she just couldn't take it anymore. She just couldn't.
could, she just didn't, she, it's like she didn't belong anymore. So, yeah. Well, she had her kids taken, you know, and she lost her kids right around the time that I got clean. And I stayed close with her. I was the only friend she had. When she lost her kids and she, like, she cut, you can read her obituary. Her mom added me to it. And her mom told me, like, if it wasn't for you, like, she thanked me so much and told me I was the only person she had. But I would ask her, I would say, you know, you, you should get clean. Look, this, there's a better life. I'm telling you, it's so much better. And she would tell me. I have nothing to live through without my kids. I don't she, care. She just said she would have drove. She would have dragged you down. She didn't want that because you were doing so good. Thank you for that. Mm. There were two comments I do want to address because they're they're. They're very sweet and sad. And this, um, Janessa, which can you write yours again? And then Anna said, Allie, I lost my baby daughter while she was at daycare 10 days before her three months. Oh, God forgive me for asking. But I wonder, is she with us and can she hear us? We love her and miss her every day. Have have they had more kids since? Let's see. What she says. Anna. Have you guys had more kids since? And then I'm seeing a boy. Melissa, I am so sorry to hear that. That is awful. <coughs> <clears throat> she said, yes, they have had more kids. Is there, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, um, okay, actually, what, okay. Are there four? Are there four in total? <laughs> My Lord. <laughs> and they're all so different. Wait, let me make sure I'm on the right <laughs> here. <laughs> you are so wonderful <laughs> and so cute. <laughs> Let's see what she said. Janessa, I know if you can go find hers while we're waiting on her. Six total with her, five kids. Okay, well, I'm seeing two girls, two boys, and then there's this blonde headed boy over here smirking at me. Um, <laughs> he startled me, actually, his energy. Um, yeah, listen, I, I feel, man, I don't know if I want to say that. Um, just fine, just fine, Taylor. Just fine. Can, um, can, does she know? Is she with them? Like, does she do? Do your loved ones stay with, like, around you? And all? Um, she's with them closer than they realize. Hmm. I don't. I don't feel like I would freak her out. Yeah, I, I'm even being told. I don't think they're ready to hear all that. So, uh, I, yeah. I, know what, I know what it is. I can read it in your mind. I swear to you, sometimes I can do that. Like you're saying that maybe it was in one of, like maybe one of her other child children or, um, you know, yeah. And I feel they know it. I feel they know it. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
This is so interesting. I could like talk about this stuff forever. <laughs> Someone said it's very deep. I think. Yes, this is so deep. I love these kind of videos where we just get emotional and connect and like. You know, <laughs> I can't help it. it. I, I swear. I know I'm a crybaby, but I swanny. Now me, I'm tough. I'm like, when it comes to me in my life, like I'm this tough girl that. I ain't going to cry for nobody, but <laughs> as soon as I get somebody else's, oh, heck, no, I'll just wait for days. <laughs> she said, please tell me in all capital letters, which that's what she was saying. I believe that maybe she, um, um, does she, does she have, with, yeah, does, does she have a son that is, um, quite different than the rest? Uh, <laughs> I feel. See, I'm seeing dimples here. Mm. Um, Jennifer Thank said you. we should do this again. I love her. Many comments have said that. My view, oh. they're loving you. Thank you, guys. I was so worried. I was so worried because <laughs> I checked you out first. <laughs> Not you, but like the crime community. And I was a little worried. Not kidding. Oh, yeah. Like, it, gets oh, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> it gets crazy, but not here. We Not here. <laughs> well, when that interview, it got crazy in here that day. Oh, wow. but not I, that. I was like, what? Is I know because I was like feeling it and crying over here and stuff and i was so, so excited you know like oh my gosh she, she's gonna and i was like you're gonna be so happy to hear all this and no because i knew you were gonna be open to this you know and you're gonna be like mm -hmm, i hear you i see you i hear you but then all that went on and see it got but see how satan works you see gets in god's way like that or you know what i'm saying people mm -hmm. letting him allow him to so. Anna said thank you God bless you oh my god that is so wonderful and Jennifer Green said that's my mom that you know you the depression and stuff she said not here I will kick them out <laughs> ain't nobody gonna mess with you here no oh, um, thank you Vanessa wanted says what she said she's also gonna email you and um maybe try to get a reading but she does want me to ask one of her best friends since she was 16 died a few months ago we are very unsure whether it was suicide or an accident can you do you know and can you see him and her name is Janessa and you see that picture on the screen right there mm -hmm. that's her Danielle says I love her I love her too we all love her <laughs> well honey go on now I'm sleeping here We'll go to sleep. Love you. I'm going to bed. No, I can't. Anyway. Right, well, I'm working. Right here. Thank you. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I am a mama. All right. <laughs> it's Janessa, right? Yes, ma'am. Janessa. Let me get her comment back. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, her little yeah, I gotta I gotta get back here. Um okay. what was the name? I'm sorry. She didn't say his name. She just said okay. whatever. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I'll tell you this much. Mm. They definitely didn't feel good. Like self worth, a lot of self worth problems. Didn't feel good enough. Okay. What happened? Show me what happened. Oh, I love. Uh, I love you guys. You're welcome, oh, yeah. Jeanette. Listen, it, it was no. Yeah, listen. I see. Okay. No. Um. No. This was no. This was not not intentional. No. 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 Um. His name is Dennis. I got it. Um. He was very withdrawn from people. Very shutting them out. Disconnected from everyone. He was so. 
in a place. But no, it was not. It was not. He he did. Did he think about it before? Yeah. But he'd stop himself. He didn't want that. He he. But it. No, this wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Mm, very interesting. There's something with like I, I don't know who who this person really feels like they've let down somebody. It, really bad, really bad. A female. Was he a fire sign? He seems like a fire sign. Anyway, he's got a lot of fire in his chart. But anyways, but no, I, I see that really clear. He, he's, no. Mm. Um, you know how many people you can, you help and can help? I mean, it's just amazing. I think that you could do like some really wonderful stuff. I really do. I think that even just helping people heal after loss and tragedy, I think it's just, you are a blessing. That's for sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. I just can, I think you could in the future just do something so big and special. Like I really do. I just really do. That's definitely what I want my legacy to be. I want people to remember me, you know, happy and helpful and positive and a good mama. Sassy. Pretty eyelashes. <laughs> no, I am sassy and feisty, but I think that's just the southern in me. <laughs> yeah, probably. He said, oh, wow, thank you, thank you, very spot on. He was always very outgoing till about a month before he passed, born March 31st. Um, yeah, see, fire, yeah. Um, listen, I feel like what triggered it is um, if it wasn't like the finances or um, something at work, okay, something, something about money and not – being good enough for someone or not doing enough or making enough or like it, this person was in a really bad place. So that's why everybody thinks it was self-harm, but absolutely not. They wouldn't have. Mm. Um, maybe after, well, when I would love to pay for a reading from you sometime for a friend of mine. Let me know when you're available. Okay. And well, I'd, I'd love just, to do that. Just let me know whenever whenever they are. Just ask them. And like, cool. Um, um she's, she's here right now, and she was wanting to, like, at first I was going to ask you, but I just told her I would uh do that okay. i like to pay you for um but patrick summer says alex i have to say this is the best show you had on by far <laughs> oh, oh. So i agree patrick summer says jennifer oh my gosh i'm gonna have to have you back sometime soon you are a favorite oh hey oh. baked cake um, yeah, you're a fan favorite, or whatever, however you would say that. You have lots of people in here who, like, love you. I would like to also, yeah. So on her channel, she usually, I mean, all the time, she's always uh, looking beyond okay, I'm convinced. She is always mm -hmm. doing readings, like, um, for, so I'm trying any to of you. Today. Yeah. Yeah, so go subscribe, and if you're wanting one, then definitely be over there. Um, baked Cake, we did not talk about that, but I will ask her, have you heard of the Christian in in Drakeo case? I don't know how to say his last name, but it was I don't a either. <laughs> um, not self-harm. Not. Mm. Mm. What but, about this one? Oh, go ahead. But I bet y'all would be surprised who actually did it. 
Hmm. I don't know. Should I tell him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I'll put it this way. Do you really think she was asleep? Come on. Anna, we did ask about Orin and Orson. It's like one of the very first ones. Mommy. Hi, baby. Okay, give me just his phone. <laughs> it's under the door. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay. Janessa, oh my God, yes. Thank you both so much. I definitely pay for a reading. I get so strongly that she's very trustworthy and authentic. Um, so I want to show you this. Have you heard of this young man, Kendrick Johnson? He was found upside down in a wrestling mat like this. This is him. He, um, they said that he fell going after a shoe. No, 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 no. Oh, God. The boys who were supposedly had problems with him and were in the area their dad is an fbi agent and just happens that there's been missing footage and all i mean they didn't test certain the blood on the walls there's i did a whole breakdown of this case and it just drives me insane but um they have reopened it do you think that there will ever be will there ever be justice for him Oh, my God. Poor kid. See, his shoes. How do you fall down there and the shoes are like that? They rolled him up in that. I just know it. And this is his dad trying to show that the wrestling mat, his shoulders are way wider than the hole. His shoulders were several inches wider than the hole. Um, There will be if there has to be a change up top before there's a change within the court okay or something like that there's some sort of change that needs to be made first it'll get there but it's going to take a lot of work a lot of money and a lot of time but it'll get there um as long as we're not silent about it you know don't be silent don't make sure we you know everyone things like the especially when things you know you don't have to be gifted to know i mean you know what i'm saying like i just ooh. Yeah, that make sense. It just does not make sense. no and, and listen he- i'm telling you those and let me tell you there's one he showed me there's one that can't sleep at night there's one that's really 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 on edge actually really close to self-harm mm. one of the two brothers mm. one, of, one of them's piggybacking okay and and it's and no it's not even like piggybacking it's like dragon kind of because it, one's weak and one's strong okay and if they could get i feel like a I hope I don't know if they can ask the right questions. I'm not sure they need to re question. They need maybe when they're adults or something. I I don't understand what he's showing me. Something has to change before. But see, I'm scared to death that that one is not going to make it. Mm. He's definitely haunted by it, not by him. But by what he done, his own guilt, you know. But 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 I will say this: How can you make that an accident? I realize this, but the intent wasn't to kill him. Okay, it wasn't to kill him. They, they were fighting. Were they but, fighting? Well, they didn't like him. They were jealous of him. Jealous. Yes. Because Kendrick, what it was about a girl. One of them, Kendrick was getting the attention from a girl. Um, I mean, it's a whole, yeah. And uh, mm. so, I mean, it was just it, it. It was to you know, just like 
Just like if me and you were cat fighting over a man, you know, I'd want to whoop your ass, but not kill you, you know? And that's yeah. kind of, yeah. Yep. Oh my God. Um, there's another one I've got some photos of actually too right here. I think that did you follow the Gannon Stout case at all? I connected but I haven't I haven't made um Oh witchy Letitia. I just hope that case, this one has like, this is one of them that is just my whole heart and soul is in. And I will be here until the end talking about it until that bitch is, excuse my language, is locked up for the rest of her life. And I mean that she with every She will. She will be. She mm. will. She will be. Excuse my language, y'all. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah if anybody wants readings from her please go visit her channel i would love for you guys to get them there um then i don't know if you guys saw but this little girl i'm hoping they're hurt now the people are arrested she was a foster child being adopted as well kind of like orin and orson and her foster mother won she was uh the winner of worst cooks in america on food network and um, she was a black lady and then they adopted, a, they had two kids and they adopted a few and they were very proud of taking, you know, having, they, they seemed like on social media, like the perfect family, you know, we've got a, kids, of, we are not judgmental, you know, we'll take anybody, but come to find out this little girl was just horribly beat. I mean, her, some of her organs were ruptured and stuff. And they tried to call the police and say that she drank too much water and maybe drowned. And eventually, like, the, the dad um, told on himself and stuff. But we're kind of waiting for um, news on that. Yeah, I don't feel like whoever this woman is, I've never, uh, I've never connected to this at all. Um, what I'm seeing is shame, okay? I, she, I, I feel like she didn't do anything. Like, I, I feel like she let it go on, though, okay? Allowed it. Yeah. Let me go back and see. Well, oh, he, her oh, husband oh. is, the, is like, kind of blaming her. I'm, I'm anxious to see what happens, but... He has turned state's evidence. I thought I had a picture of her, but I cannot find it. Let me see. I feel like she's a water sign. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but. Ariel Robinson. Let me see. Birth date. November 19th, is that? Yep. Yep. I'm going to show you a picture of it. Just screenshot it. But, um, she won that show and she was said to be like super um, popular and stuff on there. People really loved her and thought she was really like funny and sweet and everything. But this is her. They. No, I'm not going to pull it. No. Thank you so much. You guys are a yeah, blessing. No, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It, it was. It was the. It was the man. It was the man. Mm. It was the man. I also see him beating a boy too. Huh. Yeah, there was boys there, and they. I do believe that. Um. I love this. Was a lighter hair, lighter hair boy as well. Well, I actually had, um, now this was a huge case. I posted about it on TikTok and it blew up. Um, and I 
not on YouTube though. On YouTube, it just, I did a video, which it was horrible. The sound quality was awful. It was one of my first interviews, but with the little girl's aunt, Michelle, who is right now um, trying to, you know, change the laws as far as foster care and how close they have to watch them and different things like that. Cause like, how they post about them on social media. It's a whole thing. But um, if you guys are on Facebook, she has a Facebook group called um, Justice for Victoria Rose, I believe. It's in one of my last description boxes, but definitely check that out if you're on Facebook. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I love you guys. Thank you for coming on here. This has been so freaking fun. You are just amazing. I'm sorry, though, because I know talking about all, with you having to see all these awful things, like, and then an interview where we're talking about 20, you know, different things. I'm sorry. I know that's tremendous. Oh, that has to be hard. No? Okay, good. Thank you. I hate to do it. I don't... I I'm made, I guess, to carry everyone's burdens. That's how I feel anyway. I definitely do it. So You're awesome. Thank you so much for coming. I don't really have anything else. We've been almost three hours. And, and it went by. It was about so, that. Yeah, I loved it. It was so fun. I um, had a blast. I have to. Maybe you can come back. Maybe we can do something in the future and maybe help some people somehow and just make a thing out of it. And that'd be awesome. That and then, every, oh my gosh, everyone loves you. You guys, please don't forget. Go subscribe. Go ask for um, a reading. And yeah, she is an amazing human. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, Anna says, did you discuss John Bonet? Which, by the way, one of your, that first person that came in here, that, she said that was one of your first videos. Mm -hmm. it is. Can we talk about that before we go? I didn't see that one. Tell me all about it. <laughs> Her parents should be in prison. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, the truth will come out. I feel like it, it's close to coming out, actually. Um, I feel bad for the brother. Um, I feel like they definitely um, used their daughter. They let they exploited her, her body, and there were just no limits, none, none. And uh, it it got. I feel like it got um. And see, the thing is, is I know, I know the brother knows. But it's like, I don't know. Apparently, these people are pretty powerful or something in the community because it's so many people just turned their head. But I feel like brothers got something and going to reveal it eventually. I feel like it's a video. I feel like it's a video or some pictures, something with imagery. Showing what her dad and people with enough money would be allowed to do with this little girl. They'll go down eventually. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful child. And it's like, so there's so many questions in that. Just like the letter on their notepad, different things that just do not make sense to me. Um, um, well, everybody, so I was just getting ready to say goodbye and head over to Mystical Mermaid's channel. Is that video still up to John Bonet? It should be, yeah. Okay. I actually forgot that I even made it. <laughs> it must have been a, a, it may have been my first one, actually. 
Hey, do you ever use the, the pendulum? Yes. Like in my rods. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, those are so cool. I've watched people do that. P please have her back. I will. I want to mm -hmm. plan something with her in the um, future. Maybe we can do something to help some people and also, you know, Maybe we'll discuss the, I don't know what we'll do yet, but I do want to help somehow. Okay. That sounds good. I've had a blast. And thank you guys for being so nice and welcoming. I appreciate y'all. And by the way, Quinn wants me to make sure you know that um, that's who said that they are heading over to your channel. <laughs> Quinn, Quinn, I love you. you. You hussy. She's my hussy. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on here. And you call me anytime you ever need anything because so that I can. Do it. All right. All right. Um, I'll see you later. And chat, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, after this live, I'm going to post that little vlog of the members only vlog tonight. So um, it's just like three minutes, just a quick little what's been going on. But um, yeah. So. Good night, and I hope you get some rest because I know this. Are you exhausted after yeah. redoing? Yeah, <laughs> like no, go all night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Well, guys, later. Bye. Bye, chat. I love you guys.